Hi and welcome to this behind the scenes look. This is the making of season three of MRTV, the green screen. Behind you see it, I have finished doing it and we are here at the new MRTV headquarter. So let me go into the light. Yes. Yeah, so this is a video that I would normally show the Patreons of MRTV, but because, well, we just did the successful Kickstarter campaign and I thought I want to show this to all of you. Well, let me start then. How did I make this green screen? First of all, I made this on a budget. Of course, I could have spent uh, more money now since the Kickstarter was so, so successful, but I still want to budget everything very carefully and therefore I tried to make this green screen on a budget. So first of all, what did I use? Let me show you. So let me change now the camera. All right, so let's start with the floor here and the floor is being made out of these floor tiles here and the special thing about them is they are very green but I did not use the expensive chroma key ones which cost like like eight dollars actually per tile actually I used some normal um, sports mat which happens to have exactly the right color and these are 14 euros for 12 pieces so I saved lots of money by using these normal sports floor tiles and I'm going to link them in the description below. This saved me already lots of money and they work perfectly. So you can use those instead. And even though they have this kind of, I don't know, this pattern here, you don't see that at all when you're using them as a green screen or green floor. Works perfectly and yeah. Like the camera sees it like this and it, it's just perfect green. So next let's talk about the green screen. So I did use cloth, a very special cloth and there are different kind of options that you can use. One of these options is for example to buy green color, chroma green color and that's actually a good option. I did not use that option because I do already have some problems with the acoustics, the echo and reverb. So that's why I chose this kind of solution here. And this actually is a special cloth. It's, it's from Manfrotto. And as you can tell here, it already has those clips. This is really, really useful. So I could directly clip them here to this pipe here. And this is a solution by Manfrotto. Actually, you can buy just the cloth, that's what I did. But of course, you can also get the whole package, which already comes with these kind of like pipes, but then it's like 400 plus dollars. So I did make that by myself, those pipes. And I just bought this cloth for like 95 euros, I think. And those pipes, this is a normal tension pole, costs like 10 euros. And this here is a PVC pipe, which cost me like three euros, three meter PVC pipe. And it works. So I saved lots of money by simply doing this myself with the tension poles and this PVC pipe. Works perfectly, all right? I did use <laughs> some duct tape, of course, this could have been done much better, but honestly speaking, for me that's fine and you will never see that in the actual video. And I, I think it still looks good enough. Have a look at this. The whole thing looks like that. And for the money that I paid, the outcome is truly amazing. And finally, I can do nice green screen videos. And that's it for this quick behind the scenes look, the making of the MRTV green screen for season three. You can truly look forward to season three of MRTV. There's gonna be so much content. And now finally, I can do these nice mixed reality videos that you saw in the beginning. And I can't wait to get started with season three. Thank you so much for watching this video, all the links in the description below if you want to make green screen for yourself as well. It is not so expensive. You can even get it cheaper. You don't have to get this nice 
Manfrotto um, green screen. You can get it much cheaper. I think for like $20, you can make it yourself. And you simply have to do the clip stuff yourself. And yeah, it is absolutely doable. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to Emma TV yet, do so now. Click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode and in season three of Emma TV. Ooh!